Hello and welcome to Nuance Tarot. Today I'm going to do a reading, another reading on Kate. In this reading I'm going to start by uh, Kate Middleton, um, Catherine the Princess of Wales, and in this reading I'm going to start by looking into that bizarre picture, the Mother's Day picture. I've been meaning to come on uh, um, earlier but I, I haven't had a chance, but I'm going to do this now. I'm going to look into that Mother's Day picture, why they did it. Why was it photoshopped like that? Why was it so strangely altered is in such an extreme way to the extent where the AP uh, and Getty and etc um, you know like banned the image or with the expression again killed the image or whatever I can it means absolutely bizarre um, you know how that photo that photo was photoshopped the second I saw it I knew that it was definitely not real like so many things have been changed that the reality of the photo was altered and, and that's the issue like it's um my impression is it's fine to have like filters and things like that but, but they actually it seems as if like several different components of several different photos were all put together and kind of frankensteined into this photo which is extremely bizarre so i'm going to ask the cards what was going on there what was the motivation? Because I, it just seems so irrational. What was the motivation for that? What was the motivation for that picture? What were they trying to achieve? I think that's a really good question. What were they trying to achieve? Why did they feel that they had to, like, cobble together a picture like that? I mean, you know, like, it seems like um, Kate's face was taken possibly taken from a 2016 Vogue cover. I mean, there were problems with the proportions of the limbs on both herself and her children. I mean, it was just absolutely bizarre. The second I saw that photo, I knew that it had been ridiculously photoshopped and to the point where it's not, it's no longer an authentic photograph because it's no longer representing the fundamental reality of who was in the picture. I mean, really with the way that picture was was altered it's possible that no one was there together that it was just cobbled together what could possibly possibly be the motivation for doing that when it's just as when it's much easier just to take a picture of everyone together and then just do some minor alterations like just for um color like um you know like a color um and, and, and photo quality. That's a totally different thing than actually changing who is in the picture. That's completely different. They, they altered the picture so much that it was no longer an authentic picture. So why did they do that? Can you please, I'm asking the cards please if they could give me some insight into what the motivations were for that. What were the motivations? What were they trying to achieve? What were they trying to achieve? What were they trying to achieve, please? All right. The Nine of Pentacles. And this is a um, card of luxury. So this is... I often see this as a keeping up appearances card. So keeping up appearances, making everything look wonderful. And you notice it's in a garden. This is in a garden. They were in the garden. Everything's wonderful. They had the wonderful mother figure there. They had the, just to the ideal, the ideal scene. So they were making these changes or putting together this picture, how, whatever to whatever extent that were, they were doing that, um, for appearances you know like to to great create to create a sense of something that was that didn't exist at that time at that moment ace of cups so emotion there was emotion involved in this they wanted to they wanted to see to to create a feeling of everything being wonderful that they were and i think that they were thinking they were using their emotions rather than their thoughts to figure out what they're going to do because it wasn't a well thought out plan. It was a completely, um, something completely based on emotions, whether positive or negative. That they, it was an emotional plan with no, with very little thought, in my opinion. Okay. 
it was irrational, and it was for keeping up appearances. All right, what else can you tell us about that photo? What, what, what were they trying to achieve? What, and what was the motivation? What was the motivation for doing it that way? Why couldn't they just take a regular picture? Why couldn't they just take a regular picture? Why couldn't they just take a regular picture and share it with the world? And we've already gotten a glimpse of that why here because creating this image of perfection. Okay, Ten of Swords, endings. So maybe they couldn't take, maybe they couldn't just take the picture because something has ended or there's been some kind of um, severing. That means that the, Kate wasn't there. You know, like there was no way of taking the picture because she wasn't there. So they're just kind of putting her, her image in there. Okay. And what else do we have? The magician. So the 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 the, the um. So they were feeling as if they that they had the. They were trying to control everything. Being a magician to in how they were controlling that photograph. Um, personally, I don't believe that Kate was the one who did that because it, who did photoshopped it because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, if she's recovering from abdominal surgery, why would she sit there for hours on end on Photoshop, cobbling together this picture that's a lot of people are basically calling like like a, a Franken like a Franken picture, meaning you know like in Frankenstein, how um, a mad scientist, you know, how 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 Frankenstein the, the scientist and Frankenstein put together the monster with all the different body parts. It's like putting together, I'm not saying they're monsters, but I'm just saying they, it's cobbling together all these different parts, all these different body parts. It's like they took Kate's head and then someone else's arm and then someone else's leg and, and it just looked, just looked completely unrealistic, you know? And it seems like they were trying to control reality. They're trying to control reality. They're trying to, um, just ignore whatever ending has happened, ignore whatever um, severing has happened, whatever, um, uh, you know, disastrous conflict has happened, they're trying to, and they're trying to create this image, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to be a magician, they're trying to uh, control everything. It's controlling the image in the midst of this. Okay. Hmm, what else do we have here? And it's interesting too, it makes you wonder who was the one actually doing the photoshopping. I don't believe it was Kate. I just don't. Um, I think it's very unlikely. And if it was, I think it would have been under pressure from other people. But I, I don't believe it was her. I believe it was either William or it was his functionaries. And let's see. What else do we have here? If it was her, then I think it's... Um, she was under pressure. All right. From the powers that be. All right, what else can you tell us about, about this picture, this... Bizarre picture. I just dropped this. Why did they do it this way? Why did they do it this way? Please tell me why they did it this way. The King of Cups. Okay. This card often comes up for King Charles. But, and of course, he's the symbol of the whole... A symbol of the whole establishment. He's a symbol of for the whole firm. He is the head. So even if he wasn't directly involved in this, everyone doing these things is kind of, um, at least on the surface, they're supposed to be doing everything in his name, right? I think they're doing it more to benefit William, but they would say 
that, you know, they're protecting the monarchy and the embodiment of the monarchy is King Charles. Okay. And you see how this is also coming close to this. So, you know, showing this image of perfection, this image of perfection in the garden, um, you know, to hold up this image of monarchy. And hide this with trying to use this magician-like talent. Well, <laughs> talent is questionable. Magician-like um, attempt. Okay. What else can you tell us? Why were they doing this? Why did they do this? Why? I mean, it seems like they're trying to hide something. Definitely. I'm trying to hide this. Okay. What else can you tell us, please? Why? Why the bizarre picture? The Emperor, again, authority. I think in this context, this is more William. This is his command. And, you know, if you're working for a member of the royal family, it's pretty difficult if you want to keep your job. It's pretty difficult to challenge their ideas. If he thought that was a good Photoshop job, then who's going to challenge him? You know? Okay. What else do we have here? The Hermit. I think in this context, we're talking about secrecy. Hmm. Also, if Catherine wasn't actually there, then because of, you know, um, some kind of disastrous conflict, a severing of a relationship, severing of, you know, wanting to be involved in it, if, if Catherine's decided she doesn't want to be involved in this right now or at all, because she's withdrawn, she's withdrawn, so the hermit could be, um, the hermit could be representing that. She's withdrawn from this. She's gone into her own, she's withdrawn, she doesn't want to do it anymore. She is, or at least, at least for now. She did, for whatever reason, she doesn't want to do it. And, you know, maybe she feels stabbed in the back by something that, something that's happened, something that William's done. She's felt stabbed in the back, and she's decided she has withdrawn. She's become the hermit, and she's not doing it. So that's why they're, I think that's why they're resorting to, like, trying to be a magician with the Photoshop, trying to create an image of something that doesn't exist, all in the name of the, of the authority, all in the name, and, and all, all to please William here. And no, not much thinking going on. It's all emotion. It's all panic, right? Okay, what else do we have here? What else was going on? Um, what else can you tell us about why they did it like this? Why did they do it like this? The Hanged Man. This has come up before in, um, in readings on to do with Kate in this whole situation, it's this feeling of being suspended, like the feeling of, of like you can't you can't move. You're you're stuck in one place, and I think this is I think this is representing like with Catherine. She's she's just I, I feel I'm getting the sense that she's decided for whatever reason, and whether this is um, temporary or permanent, I'm not sure. But I feel that she has decided she's not taking part. So I, I, I'm really getting the sense that she decided that she doesn't want to, uh, she's saying, you know what, you stabbed me in the back, I'm angry, and the only way I can think of to exercise my power is by saying, I'm not doing the photographs, I'm not doing the event, I'm not doing the engagements, you figure it out. And I think they have resorted to, because they obviously overestimate their Photoshop skills, they thought, oh, okay, we'll just plonk her face into the into the picture and we'll just like we'll, 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 we'll just uh you know we'll, we'll just wing it kind of thing and no one will notice 
You know, the EP won't notice. Getty won't notice. And wow, did they ever get a shock. Okay, um, let's see what else we have here. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we have our answer here. They're keeping appearances, they're trying to create an image of something that's not there. I feel that Catherine feels betrayed, and she has withdrawn. She is withdrawn. And all of this is in the name of authority. All of these efforts to, to create an illusion. It's all, it's all, yeah. Alright, so let's just do a couple more. Just, just to get a few, couple of extra cards. I think we have, we have our answer here. But let me just get a couple of extra, a couple of extra cards. Just a couple of extra, please. And I, think I think what I'll do is I'll split the deck and see what's in the middle. Ooh, the lovers. That's interesting. Hmm. In this context, I'm going to say that this is um, to do with an agreement. Because the lovers can signify many things aside from the obvious, and I think in this context, I think this is an agreement. It was an agreement um, to do this. Yeah. Okay. Like an agreement between maybe William and you know the the courtiers. Who are always, always <laughs> scheming in the background. Um, hmm. What else do we have here? Oh, and then the bottom of the deck, we have the four of uh, pentacles or coins, and that um, is you know like holding on to something. I think they're trying to hold on to their image. They're trying to hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to cover these. I'm gonna put these up here. They're trying to hold on to the image that they have. They're holding on for dear life. And there's also like a, a bit of there's this a bit of a shifty character about this, you know, like not not necessarily being honest. It's it's all about self interest. This is a self interest card. And look at the crown too. Right? This is self-interest, complete self-interest, and then and selfishness. All right. Well, that was interesting. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, let me know what you think. I'd love to know what you think. Um, please like and subscribe so you see all my future videos, which I'll post. And um, and I'd be really appreciate it if you'd like because it really helps me with the algorithm. And um, I hope I'll see you again next time. All right. Bye. Have a great day.